Yes, dear viewers, uh, welcome you once again on today's live show, uh, organized by prominent consultant. And good evening to you all. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to say Ramadan Mubarak to you all. And we are just uh, completing our Ramadan uh, very soon. And we are waiting for our uh, festival, Eid, Eid festival. So definitely advance Eid Mubarak to you as well. And today we have a live session. Uh, as you know, that Prominent Consulting is working with Canadian public institutions since long. And uh, we already have been organized so many live sessions with all our partner universities. And Royal Roads is one of them from British Columbia, very fantastic university, very uh, reputed public university based in British Columbia. And it's in the capital of British Columbia, Victoria. And uh, today we have very uh, fantastic and very, uh, you know, that uh, very I would say like my closest uh, partners uh, from Royal Lutheran University and one is Sweta. Uh, she is actually the uh, manager of industrial equipment South Asia and of course Tasha. Uh, finally, we got her. Uh, Tasha is the international director, uh, international recruitment director. And uh, so I would like to welcome both of you. Tasha, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, everyone. So thank, yes. So thank you so much for joining this live session and Sweta as well uh, for joining this live session. And uh, Tasha, would you please say hello to all our viewers uh, and say hello and uh, introduce yourself, would you please? Hi, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining us this evening. For me, it's the morning, of course. I'm here in Victoria. And um, yeah, welcome to the session. Welcome to Royal Roads University. I look forward to uh, sharing lots of information with you and answering your questions. Exactly. So, Eta, would you please explain, I mean, introduce yourself? Hello, viewers. This is Shweta uh, from Royal Roads University, uh, based in Delhi in the lockdown, just as you guys. Uh, uh, hope you're all doing well. And uh, we are here today uh, uh, attending the live session with prominent consultant with my dear friend, Saeed Ali. And uh, we would be happy to answer all your questions today and give you more detailed information about the university. Exactly. And today we'll be doing this live session till next one hour. And if you have any question, just feel free to ask on the live session. And Tasha is there. Actually, she's a very busy person, very hard to get her all the time. So uh, luckily we got her. Uh, it's, uh, we, we are very, you know, that our luck is good that we got her finally. So it's, a, it's the right time to answer any question to her because she is one of the boss uh, of this department. And, and one more thing that uh, if you're watching this live video, please don't forget to share this live session in your timeline so people who are interested uh, for study in Canada, especially in Royal Lords University, because British Columbia is a lovely place, lovely place, lovely weather. You will love to stay there. You love to be there. So definitely, we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, know so many things from all uh, all of them. So anyway, uh, please be with us. So Tasha, before uh, and Swetha, before going to uh, the serious topics, I mean the discussion, we will have a video first uh, of Royal Lords University. It's a promo video. It's a very good video. I mean, uh, people can understand the things about Royal Roads University. But let's have the video first, okay? Sure. Shall we have the video? Yes, let's do that. Okay, so let's have the video first. Mary is thinking about university. She is, of course, considering every option. Every single option. She looked at the old traditional school, new modern forward thinking school, futuristic online school, and applied hands-on learning job-focused school. Now, she's looking at Royal Roads. She'll find that Royal Roads is, in the very best way, a little bit old and traditional, like Castle and Ivy traditional, but also modern enough to understand that the things you learn in life are also an education. There's just no one handing out grades she'll discover that Royal Roads is also an applied and hands-on place with teachers who still do the things they teach. But that for some, an education doesn't have to be any more hands-on than a mouse. Because an education is about ideas. And ideas can come to you wherever you are. She'll learn that Royal Roads focuses on small group learning or cohorts where the people who sit beside you teach as much as the person who stands up front. And that all of that smallness creates an atmosphere where everyone is on a first name basis, even with the peacocks. She'll see that the connection continues long after you leave and join our proud alumni. 
graduation is just the start of a new stage of learning. But most of all, she'll learn that Royal Roads isn't one thing. It's a careful combination of many things that create something distinctly different. Yes, so the people can change their life through Royal Roads. It's a very good thing. It's a very good video and with a good campus look. So, Tasha, actually, uh, first of all, I'd like to go to you that uh, as you were uh, as you were connected from Victoria. So, first of all, how is the condition of Victoria due to COVID-19 situation? Because because uh, people are uh, the students are worried, parents are worried. They are thinking that their kids will not be able to go to Canada. So uh, they are they will be missing the opportunity. Uh, the future opportunity in Canada. So, I mean, what what would you say about this matter? How is the condition in of uh, Victoria and about the whole BC due to COVID nineteen? So, in um, in Victoria and in British Columbia, we have the most excellent um, health officer, Dr. Bonnie Henry, and she has been advising us um, in such a true, authentic, honest way. And it's really mean. It means that the citizens have been doing exactly as we're told. Uh, <laughs> Canadians like to play by the rules for sure. And it's paid off. We've all been um, just working from home, staying at home for about two months now. All the kids are, are um, doing school from home as well. And all of the university students have transferred to online. Uh, we have been allowed to go to the grocery stores and to the gas stations and things like that, but everybody's wearing their masks and it's paid off and we've um, completely flattened our curve. Um, and in some recent articles, uh, just from earlier this week, they've said that we're the safest place in North America. Um, there's many safe places, you know, within Canada. Canada in general is doing a, a fairly good job in most destinations. But because British Columbia is the gateway to the uh, Pacific and to Asia, you know, we have quite a lot to manage because we still have some international flights coming in and travelers and things like that. Um, so with all of that we that we manage, we're doing well. And it, that's great. We feel like we're going to be able to uh, enjoy the summer a little bit and open up, but in very small groups and with social distancing. And all of the companies and the uh, educational institutions are now planning for that. So when we do open up and have face-to-face -face courses again, you know, what will that look like? And how will we have social distancing in the classroom? So all those those plans are in place and we, you know, we feel as good as we can about our new reality. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be safe and it's gonna be good when we are able to uh, welcome people here again. Exactly, because we believe that in Canada, as the uh, population is quite, I mean, very low, so already there are there are huge distance already is maintaining naturally. Uh, but in in the part of uh, in the part of us like India, uh, Pakistan, or in Bangladesh, is quite different. I mean, uh, here we cannot maintain the distance if we if we also want it. So that's the that's the point of uh, like that's the thing of Canada. Especially that's why Canada is recovering very quickly and most of the provinces they are doing very well and very soon they are hoping that they will be they will be joining into their job so it's right. a very fantastic thing and and people are thinking that uh, tasha that how they could join your september intake what is the thing you are planning actually and what's the government is saying for that so for the uh, for the september intake we have officially decided and announced that all classes will be online until december 31st uh, we wanted to make this decision to remove uncertainty for the students. We needed to make a decision so that the students would could decide if they wanted to defer or start with us online and then know that they would complete a full term online. So we're, we're not going to monitor COVID-19 and then decide, oh, maybe we'll open in October or November because there's too many factors. It's too difficult for students to plan for that. So we just needed to be consistent. So that's what we're doing. Um, the great thing about Royal Roads though, is that we've been delivering online education for 25 years and we're leaders in that. And 70% of our programs are delivered that way. So for us to make this transition and to pivot to online learning is not a big deal for us. It's something that we just naturally do. 
And I think that's a great, um, you know, a great benefit for the students to understand. So you're not uh, studying in a program that's quickly put together. We've been at this for a long time. Exactly. And then, and government, uh, yes, yes, please carry on. Uh, and then just in terms of January, you know, of course, we don't know what's going to happen, but we're ready to go on campus if it's safe at that time. And if it's not, we would just continue with the online education. And the Government of Canada, so IRCC, Immigration Refugee Citizenship Canada, um, they've done a wonderful thing by deciding that students who study an on-campus program, but online, they can do 50% of the portion of the program, and that's going to contribute to their eligibility for post-graduation work permit. So that is amazing because we never had that before, and now we do. So you can start your education, continue with your education path. You don't have to be delayed because of COVID-19. Exactly. So that's and wonderful. Actually, uh, actually, the government of Canada is really very, they are very sweet and uh, they are offering like very supportive options like uh, still if they cannot go if they can do classes online they, still they are eligible for ps pg wpn as well as pr so it's a very good options and really we salute them they are they're offering such kind of fantastic offer to international students that's how canada is that is the beauty of canada so Sweta, actually uh, i need to go to you because uh one for to know one thing that actually students from Bangladesh, from uh, South Asia are going to Canada because of some reason, because they are thinking that Canada is a place of settlement, a place of opportunity. So, I mean, in your sense, why people should consider Canada? I mean, um, because there are some other countries like UK, Australia, USA, so and other European countries like Sweden, Denmark, France. So why people should choose Canada, uh, though it's very cold, uh, they are afraid of that weather is very cold, but still they are choosing. I mean, what, what would be the reason of choosing Canada and why right. should they choose? Right. Okay. So um, uh, definitely, Canada. Canada is is the is the land of opportunities, like you very rightly said. Uh, but not only that, um, Said, um, it is also a place where you get the quality of education. You know, we have got fantastic institution, uh, and there are a lot of public institutions like Royal Roads University imparting um, amazing degrees, which are recognized worldwide. And um, and of course, you know, uh, students they do get work rights, which um, I know not many countries are offering to the international students at the moment. Um, and then at the same time, um, if you, if you look at it, is not just the academic study, right? It is the um, I would say it's a holistic development of the student. You know that they get the skills, they get the education, they get the opportunities, and that makes Canada very unique. Um, yes, it is going to be cold um, because we are in a different continent altogether. Uh, but not all the parts of Canada are going to be very, very cold, uh, especially the place that we are in, um, British Columbia. Uh, it is called beautiful British Columbia. Um, uh, and the, the temperature is, is very mild throughout the year. Um, so just to give you an example, um, I think the winters would be about six to seven degrees. Um, by the way, in India, we do get like one or two degrees. So for us, six, seven degrees is quite pleasant anyway, right? And uh, yeah, and in summers, it'll be about 25, 24 degrees. Um, and one thing that I personally, I, I, I was really amazed uh, uh, about, like I was there last year, and um, and the sunset was somewhere around 9, 9.30 in summers, which is like amazing. You get You get such long days to enjoy the beautiful summer. You get you know so much time to go out and see places right and uh, and that's an amazing thing you know um, and for the international students that exposure itself uh, and being in a different country altogether and one more important part that i want to, i want to mention here that um, canada is is um, is very international in its approach right so you would see people from all over the world um, they come very diverse. Start, very diverse yeah very diverse yeah they come, they study, they stay there, and then they get further opportunities, right? Um, which again makes it very, very unique. Um, so it is the it is a place for everyone. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, I need to add something more. And Canadian people are really friendly, like Tasha, very supportive, very oh, yes, welcoming. They are. Yeah, uh, very all welcoming wonderful people and, are there. Uh, they don't make any difference between the I mean the local and uh, the international. All are same to them. 
and uh, everyone is equal every jobs are equal over there nobody there is no discrimination at all and of course uh, the weather as you say british columbia very lovely weather but during ramadan i think it's very tough to tough for us because uh, we need to take food till evening so if the day if the day is long so then in fasting time it's very tough to manage i, I would say uh, so so tasha actually we'll have we'll have a question uh, for you one student he is asking there are lots of environment for salamet he is asking there are lots of environment related for masters program in royal roads but i didn't find any course based program is there any environment related course based program where work experience and managing a professor don't need actually i am agricultural graduate so what do you think about him what so is is the question regarding um the environmental programs that would be taught face to face uh no or actually he just could make a question on facebook it just commented so just we we need to answer his question that do you offer any course based uh, environmental program as he is a graduate from agriculture so we do have a variety of masters programs um, in environment and sustainability um they are delivered in the blended format so it is a combination of uh, the online learning and uh face to face short term residencies So uh those programs uh we've been delivering since 1995 there's some of our foundational programs um things like a master of arts in environmental leadership um environmental management different topics like that um the only situation though with those programs is that they don't currently qualify for post graduation work permit so it would depend if immigration is um is part of the you know the goal to coming to canada exactly so i mean for faisal ahmed he can do the blended courses on environment and sustainability so faisal so you got your answer so we will take another question of uh, jiaul linku you can see here he is asking at this time uh, dueling exam is applicable instead of ielts yes it is yeah okay So Jiaul Dueling is accepted in Royal Roads University. So Tasha, I would like to go to you. Uh, like uh, there are ten provinces in Canada. Uh, British Columbia is one of them, and Victoria is the capital of uh, British Columbia. So mm-hmm. Royal Roads is in exactly in Victoria. So I mean, people are uh, very crazy about Vancouver, uh, but not about Victoria. So would you please say something about about very fantastic points of Victoria that they can choose Victoria as their study the destination what could be the reason uh well victoria is uh the number one tourism destination in all of canada it looks like a fairy tale here it's absolutely gorgeous um so completely surrounded by the the coastline like so by the ocean uh wide wide open green spaces people come here to breathe the fresh air to get away from a uh, busy population to get to, to get away from traffic um and it's the capital city so we have all the infrastructure of a large city like vancouver or like seattle um uh, but we have a very high quality of life so vancouver is close enough if you want the big city feeling and everything but other than that uh victoria has everything that you need yeah and very very multicultural how, how far it is from uh, vancouver by drive i think there is a ferry ferry option uh, yes there is a ferry and it's an hour and a half on the ferry and then okay. driving is about you know a uh, half an hour on this side and then when you get to the mainland about 40 minutes and to an hour to get to vancouver depending on traffic okay so we are getting few more question uh, first of all rajiv boni he is asking i think you can see on the screen i have completed my bb and mba in accounting and finance then i have achieved professional accounting degree too so what courses we can offer for him for rajiv boni from royal roads so if the goal is to um to to study something that enhances what you've already taken um with business and accounting but you want to come to Canada to for immigration purposes um i might recommend something like our master of global management program which is either 12 months or 18 months 
Um, it is delivered uh, on campus. Of course, now it's online, but um, normally on campus. And it does have an internship component as well. So you can do course-based or you can complete the program with an internship, which is great for networking right. and then getting a job so in Canada. The goal is to, exactly. Um, exactly. To, to study something that enhances and what you've uh, already taken. Yes. yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing myself talking again. No, so. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, uh, the sound is increased in my phone. Yeah. So it's okay now. Yes. And so. then with the global management, I'll just say about Royal Roads in general, is that we're a university that teaches the soft skills. So you may have like the strong basis of accounting. And then what we would add to those skills is, you know, leadership and intercultural communications, a focus of sustainability in business. So a really broad, you know, context in a global framework. Exactly. Rajiv Boni, I would like to request you, please, uh, you can try for the Masters in Global Management, which is one one year or 18, 18 month program with Royal Roads. So you need to have uh, ILTS or you can do Duolingo test as well. You can contact with Prominent uh, after the live session, uh, you know, WhatsApp number. So we'll, we'll, we can take care of your matter for application. We will take some more questions very quickly. Uh, otherwise, uh, they, they will wait for the answer. So Mashfa, uh, Mashfa Alam. Uh, she is asking that can you please enlighten about the career opportunity after completing MGM? Asha. So the MGM program does um, it, it's very applicable to many sectors. So it's not specific to you know to banking or any one particular sector. Um, and as I've just said, you do come out of that program with uh, work experience and a broad range of management skills. Um, it's different than, uh, say, a, a Master of Business Administration, for example. It's a unique program, and we find that human resources professionals tend to really uh, notice the MGM on a resume, and they, they're curious about it, and they want to ask more. So applicants tend to get callbacks um, because they can explain that they have like a bit of a different degree. Um, and it's working at Royal Roads in the cohort, you're working with other students who have come into the program with work experience. And that as well is something that's different about the university because you're learning from the experience of the other students. And, you know, several universities do not require work experience. It's all theory based. So we find that our that our graduates are more ready for the workplace. They're more advanced and they, they do very well. Okay, so and, and as as I know that I think you need you need two years of work experience for MGM minimum two years of work. Of Correct. Work you need exactly. So Mashva, you got your answer, and if you have any more any any further question, please feel free to contact Prominent. And okay, fine. Uh, okay, so I would like to request all our viewers who are asking the questions. Please, uh, first of all, you need to tell your academic results and ILTS score, then we can answer your question properly definitely so uh, tasha will go for another video of uh, royal Rose university so let's have the video first okay then we go we'll go for the further topics It's robust enough, it was, it was, it was rigorous enough uh, to take me to my limits. I know where my limits are. I know what my strengths are. I learned, I learned more about myself than I, than I ever imagined through that program, the whole self-analysis piece of, of the MBA. I, I really do think that coming, coming to this program has given me insight uh, to myself, what I want to do, where I want to go, and what I'm capable of. And I think more than anything, it's open. Uh, a dormant passion that I, that I have for for learning. I, I thought I'm going to get in and get out one year, and uh, they made it such a, a, a cool experience for me that I really want to get back, and I'm, I'm interested now. I want to keep going. I want to pursue it, a master's now, and that wasn't a, that wasn't a goal to begin with. It's hard to move to a different country. It's hard to be in a school you know, speaking your own language. It's hard at the beginning to communicate, but when you start breaking your own barriers, they were open to you. Like, it's, it's just a unique experience. It's so hard to explain, but what I can say is unique and you are not going to have regrets about that. 
Um, I think what was neat for me, um, not so much an aha moment, I think it was great for my, my boys who at that time were quite young to see their dad go through a couple of degrees and be here for graduation. You know, the, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest learning uh, from, from the program is actually uh, about you. Um, it is professional. You can apply all of that teaching professionally, but the learning is about what you are. So obviously every minute of it, every minute since then is different. Personally, I have, um, I have learned different ways of doing things. Um, it's so easy when you work in an organization like where you can really set in your own ways and make them better go model is one of the best models out there so engaging with other people uh, out my, my world view has changed my change is profound i have a greater sense of self uh, i have a greater appreciation for people and respect for people i really value the relationships that i've made here at royal roads i mean they're i think they're what i'm, I'm going to take into my future and into the community the most Yes, uh, so it's some uh, experience, I mean, there's some experiences, students are sharing their experiences about your program, MBA, MGM and other program leadership and other things. So uh, there are two more questions we need to take. One is that Salman Hamid uh, is taking, can I apply directly to master's as I have achieved up to 72 percentage grade from undergraduate. Uh, Okay, what is the IELTS requirement for masters and postgrad individually? Sweta, would you please answer this question? Can right. you see the question? Uh, yes, I can, uh, Ali, I can, I can see the question. So, um, so they have scored 72% in their bachelor's degree. And the, um, so academics, uh, they look pretty good. Uh, the IELTS that we need for master's level, um, majority of our programs uh, is 6.5 overall. Uh, with 6.5 in writing and speaking and um, reading and listening can be band six. Um, so uh, we really need to know what kind of a master's degree that they are actually looking at. Uh, but um, uh, for majority of the master's program, uh, we would need work experience, as we mentioned earlier, uh, that we, uh, Royal Road Design is a very mature university and all the master's program they do require work experience of minimum two years um, a graduate experience. So um, Salman, um, I believe, um, you know, if you do have some sort of a work experience, uh, you can have a look through all our master's degree courses. Um, we offer three courses, of, in fact, yeah, yeah four programs um, on campus, uh, which is NGM. There's a master's degree in tourism management, um, intercultural and international communication and um, also a new program uh, master of arts in uh, uh, in global leadership um, so i would advise um, have a look through the courses in detail and um, and see what is of your interest and um, and what and then you can you can get in touch with the prominent and you can apply exactly and one uh, relevant question uh, like a little bit different like uh, Faisal Ajim, he was, uh, I'm an RR, RRU alumni and I have completed MBA on 2019. If I want to study further at RRU and on HRM, do you have any scope? Tasha, what, what did you say about this question? Can you uh, see the question? Have, yes, I can. And I've started reading the live questions on the side here too. There's lots going on. Um, Thank you. Well, it's it's nice that you've joined us as, uh, as RRU alumni. That's great. There are certainly people all over the world from our community. Um, for alumni, we you know continue to have a variety of graduate certificates and diplomas. Uh, we do have them in human resources management. Um, everything's on the website. We also have shorter courses who are professional and continuing studies. So just depending on what the goals are exactly, whether it's to come to Canada or just to enhance learning, we certainly do have um, you know, over, we have over 50 programs. So um, I would encourage you just to, to pop onto the website and see what, what we've got there. Courses typically are ranging from six months to 12 months, just for a shorter program. 
Okay, that's I think your video is having some issues. We cannot see your face properly. It's blurring. So do you please oh, check okay. your uh, camera. Everything looks good here, but maybe uh, it's the. So it also you can you can see something like that, right? So Tasha's. Uh, yeah, Tasha's video. Yeah, it's um, it's going a little blur. Could okay. be the right. network network issue, I believe. Yeah, yeah. probably so, a so network so issue. Yeah. Yes, yes, uh, okay. So so we'll take one more question. Rajiv Boni, he's looking for, actually already has done master's and uh, uh, from Bangladesh and he's looking for PhD in um, in your in your university or research-based master's program. So can you offer any PhD or research-based master's in management, something like that? We have a doctor of social sciences uh, as we also, and we also have a doctorate of uh, business administration, so a DBA. Yeah, so for DBA, for DBA, yeah, for DBA, you need a um, professor or they can apply without professor? Um, they can apply uh, without and need to get one, um, you know, shortly thereafter. But certainly they can they can apply and um, we can sort of help with that as well. Okay, okay that's great. So so thank you so much, dear viewers, for your question. But uh, I, would, I would like to re request, please don't make question i mean like, just like a single sentence just uh, put your all details and yeah. then we can give you an answer and please try to contact with prominent if you didn't uh, don't able to get all the things anyway so Sweta, we, we need to talk about the royal doors uh, the location exactly where it is and about the university a little bit uh, why people should choose royal doors right so um uh, um um, we'll start with the location uh, first, um, Ali. As Tasha mentioned, it is Victoria, and we all know Victoria is the capital um, city of, of uh, British Columbia. Very beautiful place, um, and that's where the university is. Um, it's a public university. In fact, it is also a historic site, um, and I would recommend all the viewers to quickly go online and have a look through the, the university. Um, uh, it is. Um, it was started in, um, in in 1908, I believe. That's when the the cam the campus was built, and uh, and then um, it was um, it was a, a military training college. But um, I think about 1995, um, and I, that's correct, Tasha. 1995, we've got the university status, and since then we've been awarding our own degree programs. So as a public university, um, Syed, we offer a lot of programs uh, at different levels, uh, right from undergraduate, graduate, um, certificate, diplomas, um, and doctoral courses. Um, and these programs are into various different streams, very different fields, and course options are available. Um, there are a lot of on-campus courses, um, and we are the pioneers into delivering the online education. So we offer a lot of programs on a blended mode and the online mode. Um, and I believe that's what makes it more unique. Um, and that's what sets apart from other institutions. Um, uh, coming to the, to the programs, um, you know, there are different various um, streams like business and tourism, hospitality, communication, education, leadership. Environment environment yes um so we have we offer a lot of lot of different streams a lot of different programs and these courses um are offered at a <clears throat> various different levels and we also offer degree completion options um and um we we work very closely with a lot of institutions across the globe and we get students who have completed let's say two years or um, two years of their degree or diplomas um, in the home countries and they can come and study the final two years with us and still get the Royal Rose qualification. And I believe that's something very, very unique. Um, and while we do that, um, uh, we offer the complete transfer arrangements for these for the students. Um, having said that, um, there's also option for students who study four year bachelor's degrees with us. They can also take an um, international uh, study option. So uh, there's a possibility for students to, to study, uh, let's say, a semester with one of our partner institutions um, in, across the globe. And um, it is not only their home country or Canada, so they would get an experience of studying into a different country altogether, right? Um, majority of our courses, we do offer internships. 
um, as, as a part of our programs. Um, they are all embedded into the, into the courses at um, all the different levels, undergraduate and masters and um, and the and the um, and the other courses as well. Is it, is so, it, is it paid internship, Sarita? Is it paid internship or co-op? It could else. be paid internship. Yes, there is a possibility of getting a paid internship. But again, um, this is not something that we actually guarantee to all our students, because uh, it is purely depends upon the student and the and the employer that they are applying to, um, and they might get some stipend um, if if they if their academics are really really good. Um, so it is not just the just the academic learning. Uh, students they also get the first hand experience. They get exposure with the industry. And um, there's a lot of support system, um, say that the university that um, that we offer to our students, and it is the support for learning. There's a support for um, uh, for the career advice. There's a lot of support coming from the faculty, from the staff. Any sort of assistance students they, they need, um, we have a lot of support system available for for our students, and. Um, yeah, and I believe the way that we are very unique, um, the that our class size are going to be very, very small. Um, so unlike many other institutions, we we have a very limited number of students um, that we have on our on our classes. Uh, we work on a cohort based model and each cohort uh, will have approximately about 30 to 35 students. So you are not actually a number at, in, your, in your class, right? Uh, you don't you're not just a student ID. Everybody would know um, each student by their name, and um, and I believe it's 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 um, it's a very fantastic experience, right? When you study for the entire cohort together, and then you graduate together, uh, so you make yeah you make friends for your for the lifetime, and um, and then you know um, uh, you never know because tomorrow um, you know someone might be working in a different country altogether. And having one known person in that particular country um, as your friend, it's an experience, right? Uh, and I believe um, that makes us very, very unique. So, Sweta, so let's uh, uh, let's uh, uh, finish the undergrad part first. Like uh, sure. as you said that that you have bachelor programs and also you have the transfer programs as well. Like Absolutely. students, uh, students they can finish two years or three years of bachelor program here or post secondary i mean there is no diploma in our post secondary level so only bachelor if they finish two years or three years then they can easily transfer to royal roads and they can finish two more years over there yes. and they can apply uh, they will also eligible for pg wp in that case right so Absolutely. it's a very fantastic Absolutely. option for dear students because uh, it's a very good option like if you are starting here in bangladesh from some reputed universities like north south iub or some other good in public universities so uh, definitely you will be able to transfer your credits very easily uh, especially some uh, programs like bba uh, environment uh, some hospitality management some other programs you can easily transfer your credits to royal roads and uh, you can finish only two years you can save money and of course you are enjoying the, the same benefits who are spending four years in canada so that is a very good thing and you. now yeah. talk about the academic average you require for your bachelor and the ielts requirement for bachelor program and what is the difference of academic requirements and the ielts requirement in terms of transfer program right okay so um so if if you're if um if you're coming for a four-year bachelor's degree at the at the royal roads university um we would ask for minimum six um uh, overall ilts uh with at least six in writing and speaking um, i would say if students can have six in each um, of the components that'll be great um but otherwise um uh, 5.5 in um, in reading and listening can also be accepted um, students who are coming into the transfer arrangements, if they're coming for the year three entry, which is going to be a very advanced level into the degree, uh, and we would need the higher level of proficiency in the in the language. Um, so uh, for them, uh, they, we, they would need to have 6.5 overall, um, again, with 6.5 in writing and speaking and six in reading and listening is, is what they would they would they would need to have. An academic average, 60 uh, percent, right? Yes, we are looking at minimum B average. Uh, yeah. So, um, uh, and B average has to be translated as per the Canadian curriculum. So, I would suggest um, anybody who has got about 60, 65 percent um, in their um, in their high secondary, or um, if they have completed two years of their degree or diploma, uh, then that is what um, they need to have. 
Um, so students who are coming here, yeah, coming for the degree completion, um, they should have completed at least um, 60 credits uh, with a B average over the period of two years of study that they have spent uh, in their home, home country. Exactly. So now let's talk about uh, the tuition fees of undergrad. So I will go for the master's program to Tasha because she is uh, she will be explaining very very nice way I think. But uh, for undergrad, I need to finish with you first. That uh, what what will be the tuition fees for undergrad and uh, what kind of scholarship do you offer on that and how will be the payment uh, options? I mean, is there any installment options or not? Right. Um, um, so the tuition fee, um, whether you're coming for a four year degree program or you're coming for the credit transfer option, degree completion option, uh, the fee remains same, which is uh, 20,000 Canadian um, dollars. Uh, that's the average fee per year. Um, there is a there's an option of students to pay in an installment so they can go the um, they can choose the the uh, installment plan and pay semester wise as they go. Um, I would also like to mention here, um, Ali, um, that students, they can take up, like we said, they can they can opt for an installment plan. But if they're applying under the SDS, um, which, yeah. One they, year payment is compulsory. So, yeah. Bangladesh does not have the SDS, but then yes, you know, we, do, SDS, yeah, yes. we do follow the SDS rules uh, there, and that is what has been recommended. So it is advisable to the students from the visa point of view to pay as much as they can uh, you know, from uh, to ensure that they have the smooth visa process. Exactly. There are yeah, there are scholarship options available uh, at the university, right from the entrance scholarship and till they till they graduate, they have uh, multiple choices to apply. So um, so students they can apply for the entrance awards, they can apply for uh, the university scholarships, they can apply for the external awards, but um, it's all going to be performance based. So um, you really so have people to will be uh, people will be yeah. looking for first uh, the entrance scholarship because yeah. this is very upfront. So in that case, how could be the ranges, uh, minimum and maximum, and what uh, what cat category you will follow for to offer this entrance scholarship? Right. So it can be anything from five hundred dollars, and it can go up to ten thousand uh, wow. dollars. Uh, yes. Um, uh, for the, the entire scholarship amount. So it depends um, how strong your application is uh, and um, uh, how, you know, if, if, you, if you're an outstanding student uh, during the assessment, um, then you can apply. Um, of course, you have to write a, write a, um, send us a write-up stating, you know, why you should be considered for this scholarship uh, based on your academics, your needs and everything. And, and that's how, um, you'll be considered for the scholarship. Okay, so it will be considered based on class 12 uh, results, 12 grades? Uh, yes, we look at the overall application. So it okay. is definitely the academics, it is the IELTS, and um, if students extra, they have done- extra curricula. Extra, Yes, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. So dear students, it's a very fantastic option for you from 500 to 10,000 maximum scholarship. You can, you have the opportunity to get and what will be the application process for undergrad? What kind of documents you require? And what are the intakes we offer in undergrad level? So um, all the undergraduate degrees will be starting in September. Uh, mm -hmm. We have only one intake um, and September is our main intake. So, um, so all these students, they need to apply at the earliest. And along with their application, which is done online, um, we would ask for um, their academics right from their 10th and 12th. Uh, with the required academic grades the students should have achieved um, and um, and a copy of our passport and ILTS. Um, so um, I would also like to mention here, um, Ali, if your students are applying uh, for any of our four-year bachelor's degree, they should have studied at least four academic subjects and out of which one has to be a calculus subject. Either accounting right. or maths or accounting statistics. Accounting or maths or statistics. Uh, and if the if the idea is to come into the hospitality or tourism, uh, we would also um, uh, um, we would also uh, include um, economics as a subject. We'll consider that as well. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. So and they can apply through prominent easily because there will be opportunity to get application fee waiver. Absolutely. They, yeah. Prominent. Yeah. So, so they don't that, have to pay any application fee coming coming through prominent coming through prominence. So thank you so much for a wonderful time to explain all the things about undergrad. Now, 
I think uh, Tasha has, a, has a, had a good break, so now we'll go to her. So Tasha, uh, uh, first of all, so one student, he wants to know that uh, your DBA course is course-based, right? Doctor of Business Administration? Is it research-based or course-based? Well, it's both. Yeah. Both. Okay. So how both. many years? How many years the course? Uh, the DBA is four years. Um, okay. The the tuition for the DBA is about uh, eighty thousand Canadian dollars for the entire program. So about okay. twenty thousand per year. Um, yeah. Yeah. And any scholarship on that? Um, well, I mean, it, it's just like the other scholarships that Shweta described. They're available for all the programs. And there's a, a funding, not like uh, funding options like they are getting from professors, some funding, uh, not, not like that. No, not like that. Okay. No. So let's talk about the, all your postgraduate courses that you are offering in Royal Rose University. I know all courses are not, uh, of, I mean, on campus based. So a few courses are, a uh, few courses are actually your on campus based. Would you please uh, tell these options of your postgraduate level? So for the on-campus um, programs, we've got, as we've discussed, the Master of Global Management program. So that's going to be in the business stream. Um, we have a Master of Arts in Intercultural and International Communication. And I just want to highlight that one for a moment because we are changing our um, entry requirements, our admissions for that particular program. And starting in September um, twenty. 21, um, that is going to be our master's program that no longer requires any work experience. So we've for had MGM. a couple, for MGM. For, no, for MAIIC, Intercultural International Communication. Okay. And we've had a few questions about that, the work experience in the chat here. So okay. that's a master's program that doesn't require work experience and it doesn't have a minimum GPA set either. So that's a great program. Um, it's uh, 18 months with the internship. Um, it starts in September and um, the IELTS is the 6.5 entry point. So not for this September, but next September 2021, um, that is going to be a very um, open sort of holistic program where applicants are asked to really share their experience that they've had with international communications. So people who do a lot of social media um, and are interested in different, uh, you know, different forms of technology, um, understanding interesting things like conspiracy theory, how they um, promote communication during COVID, um, you know, elections, politics, things like that. It's a, quite an interesting program. Um, and so that's, that's new in terms of the entry requirements changing for next September. We also have a Master of Arts of uh, Global Leadership. So similar to global management, but focusing much more on personal leadership and team leadership, um, leadership uh, that works very effectively in uh, non-government um, non organizations, um, working for um, you know, Red Cross, um, any, any non-profit scenarios, that is going face to face. Uh, in September. I, I would like to interrupt you here uh, because I have a question adding to your sure. courses, like uh, relevant to your courses. Like we found a lot of students, they are like passing from political science, they are passing from social work, social studies, sometimes from English, from humanities, from public administration, from law. So all these category students, can they apply to your global leadership and international communication? Yeah, they can. Yeah, they just have to um, have strong personal statements about what they want to do with their past experience and how that will contribute to the program and how it will contribute to their future career. Okay, so for them, I think that they don't require at this moment the work experience for both courses, right? For for the the intercultural and international communication, no work experience. But for global leadership, yes, there is work experience. Uh, two years for that one. In which field you require? In which field? Well, I mean, with interdisciplinary is the nature of the, the course. So really you can be coming from different sectors as long as it's related to some sort of leadership capacity. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Okay, fine. Yeah. Please carry on. 
remaining courses. Uh, and then the final course that we have at the graduate level that's face-to-face uh, -face or on campus is our Master of Arts in Tourism Management. So tourism certainly is undergoing many changes right now with COVID. We're not sure what the future of that industry looks like, but it is a resilient industry and um, having education within that is always highly beneficial. To right now, the program area is studying things like how does COVID affect tourism, you know, and what does the future of that look like? Um, a, a good change with that program that's not 100% official yet, but we're confident it's moving forward is we're now going to be offering that program uh, over three intakes throughout the year. So formerly it was only in May, and now we're going to be the same as the MGM program where we'll do a May, a September, and a January intake. So that that's fantastic, right? Because it gives more flexibility and there's less time to defer. Exactly, exactly. And, and uh, all your master's program are uh, one year, either one year or 18 months, right? So well, 18 months. Most of them have a 12 month sort of just course based option and they also have an 18 month option, which is typically what an international student will choose because it incorporates that six month internship, which of course is critical for, you know, gaining employment and expanding your network in Canada. So 18 months tends to be the popular choice. It also then qualifies or, you know, allows the the graduate to be eligible for the longer post-graduation work permit so for th a three-year post-graduation work permit so okay, most so will opt for 18 months okay so if they finish 18 months they will get three years of work permit exactly okay that's a great option exactly yeah. so internship is will be paid or not uh, unpaid with the internships yes um similar to what shweta said before um you know they can they can definitely be paid now one thing to highlight is that there's no uh placement so a student does find their own in internship but they work with our work integrated learning office which assists them and has a network of employers so it's not really an issue um, but they do have to work for that just like they would have to find a job right um, and in most cases they are paid Okay, so uh, just need to know about the course fees. I mean, tuition fees of all your master's program that we were offering, like in average. Yeah, so I mean, on average, they do range a little bit, but they're all uh, at this point about thirty-two thousand Canadian dollars for the full program. Um, the global leadership program that I was discussing and saying that that was new now in terms of face-to-face. -face, that one's at thirty-four, so just a little bit more. Okay, so thirty-two thousand to thirty-four, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and they can pay by uh, by semesters. They can pay your tuition fees. Yeah. Yes, they can. Yeah. They can pay. Okay. Yeah. So Tasha and Sweta will have a video of your president and vice chancellor. Uh, some message from him. So let's have the video. Okay. Okay. Royal Roach University is an amazing place. And there's a lot that excites me right now about taking on this role as president. But more than anything else, it's the role that we can play together in addressing the biggest issues of our time. We right now see an unprecedented convergence of big, tough challenges. The existential threat of the climate crisis, the disruptive transformation of our economy and our workplaces, the rise of narrow nationalisms and attacks on civil society and the values of equity, inclusion, and diversity. And all of this while Canada is taking some long overdue steps towards reconciliation with Indigenous peoples. Issues like these do not lend themselves to easy solutions. They demand transformative leaders who can think and act across disciplines. The kind of leaders who come out of Royal Roads. We're a small university, but we are small in numbers only. The kind of leaders who come out of Royal Roads make a big impact throughout Canada and all around the world. And our faculty and grad students are at the very forefront of research in these areas. We're in a unique position to identify key interventions, those critical real world actions that unlock much bigger change the coming years are going to be very exciting ones, both in what we teach and in how we teach it. We're going to find innovative ways 
to deliver education so that learning really is lifelong. We'll be making reconciliation a way of life as an organization. And what that means is close, constant collaboration with our Indigenous partners. And we'll take the insights and the innovations developed right here and bring them to the national and the international stage. My goal as president is to see Royal Roads University not only creating the leaders of the future, but playing a key role in shaping the future itself. Yes, uh, uh, very inspiring message uh, from the president, Tasha. So uh, it was a fantastic video made by him. I mean, uh, something we came to know about uh, the Royal Roads. So Tasha, actually, when Sweta comes to Bangladesh, so always bringing uh, us uh, some peacock for us every time. So what is the actually the story of peacock in Royal Roads campus? Could you please say something about this, uh, the peacocks? story i don't actually know how the peacocks came to live on our <laughs> campus but we do have yeah. wild peacocks there um and <laughs> they uh they thrive very well in our west coast forest um they live there year round they have all their babies in the springtime and um they're so loud when you stay on campus, um, our, our blended students will stay in our residencies on campus and those peacocks, they just wake everybody up in the morning and um, it, they become a symbol of Royal Roads and many of our graduates, they will, uh, you know, they'll get peacock t-shirts and anything with a peacock on it, it reminds them of Royal Roads. So it's this but, funny but, thing. But that I would like to, I would like to request whether please bring more because here it's very big demand. <laughs> Because my two sons already captured two, so no oh more God, in my office. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you need to bring some more. And Tasha, I mean, uh, just need to know talk about the admission process of application process of master's program, and what kind of documents you basically require. Though it is mentioned in the in the website, but would you please give a quick uh, view uh, review on that? Yeah. So there is an online application form. Um, you have to apply with your uh, transcripts, which um, you can submit and then you can provide the, like you can submit them um, for the application and then just provide the official, official documents uh, later on before you start your class. Um, that we need a, a detailed resume that outlines your work experience um, with like how long did you work at each uh, employer and a description of what you're your job was. Um, in particular, you can have it in relation to the program. That's very helpful. Uh, two reference letters, um, again, that sort of address how you are going to be, uh, you know, contributing positively to the program of your choice. Um, then we have the uh, statement of purpose, which is probably it's probably the most important piece. Most, most um, sensitive, most sensitive documents. Yeah, and you, you just want to pour your heart out in, in that letter. You want it to be authentic. You don't want to have anybody else write it for you. And you want to say, you know, what your hopes and dreams are for taking the program. And, you know, if that involves moving to Canada, talk about that too. And talk about how your past experiences are, are contributing to everything you want to do. You can talk about your family, how it's going to change your life. I mean... You know, I've taken a program at Royal Roads, and when I was writing mine, I it made me emotional. Like, you really have to put yourself out there because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for people who are going to make a real big difference in the in the classroom. Um, so, you know, make it authentic. Um, and then, of course, a, your official language test. IETS, exactly. Yeah. So, so dear viewers, SOP, you need to be very sensitive about that. You need to be more careful in Royal Roads because it should not be heard from someone's heart. It should be from your heart itself. What your heart says about Canada, about Royal Roads, about the program, what, what your heart says about your future plan. So don't hire anything from anyone's heart and, of course, from Google heart as well. 
so it, it will be identified very closely and, and you will be you will be rejected so that be careful of that so sop is very most important vital part of uh, royal nurse admission process and of course you need to check with your you need to have uh, references uh, one professional one academic and of course uh, ints score if uh, because they are also accepting a duolingo which is can be done easily and very quickly uh, uh, sitting in your home uh, it's a very cost effective budget friendly only 50 us dollar to spend to give the exam so tasha we are just end of the live session actually and so uh, so uh, uh, can, can i just add one more to that one more point sure, of course add or not uh, one more you can add two more three more no problem <laughs> i have seven too right. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, especially the lockdown that we are experiencing and um, and we know that students, they are finding it a little challenging to, to get the um, the reference letters, like a proper document letter. Uh, we do accept e-references. Um, so if the students say you know, they're not, they can't get the proper rec recommendation letter on the company letterhead, uh, their referees, they can send us the emails directly from their official email account. Okay. Um, uh, with their uh, with their signatures and the company logos on that, and we would we would accept those e references as a part of the application. No, but but I, I have another question here. Suppose we are yeah. uploading, we are sending the hard I mean, scan copies of the documents, but right. uh, in that case, uh, in that case, we don't need to uh, send reference details to uh, to you, or the university will directly email uh, the te teacher will. Really email you what what will be the situation uh, though you can you can let us know that who would be two referees and then referees okay. they can they can send their recommendations directly to us okay. they can send an email uh, for that particular student mentioning their name and their applicant id in the subject line um and um, from their official email id and we will accept that okay that's a fantastic thing so tasha you would, would you like to add something more i think you would yeah, I just want to mention, and this has been asked in the chat box there. Um, yes, populism about, ping -pong. Yeah, about populism, flexible admissions. Ping -pong, oh. Yes, uh, uh, no, and the, one important uh, comment we got is a very potential guy, I think. Like, you just see BB accounting 2.91 out of 4, IITA 7.5, each band 6 plus, job full time 3 years, part time 2 years. Is it possible to get admission MGM? I, yeah. Just check the grades there, Shorta. Yeah, so everything else looks good. Yeah, yes. everything else looks yeah. Um, so he's got fifty eight percent, which is slightly on the border, but I believe with with the kind of experience. We have a long uh, experience, yeah. long work experience, yeah. five years. Yeah. Yes, years yeah. Time and, we mm -hmm. would certainly recommend. Yeah. Yes, so Pinku actually uh, you can apply through prominent because uh, the Royal Rose uh, application fee is a bit higher. It's more than 250, I think. So you can save the money through prominent. So try to apply it through prominent. And if you if you need any any kind of assistance, please contact to my number. I already uh, commented my number. Uh, my name is Said. You can easily contact to me. Uh, so we'll be in touch with you. So you, we we have a January integrate right, for MGM. Or, or I think also September is still open. Yes, so there's a mm -hmm. September, January, and May. So yes, yes. So you choose. can also try for September or ja January as well. So yeah. just contact with me soon. So, uh, Tasha, you are you are uh, focusing some points, some comments of. Yeah, some just um, I wanted to highlight that we do have. We've been talking a lot about standard admissions, but we do have flexible admissions as well. So okay. Royal Roads is a university that you know we really value work experience and we do not discriminate against age. So we have students, as you can see from some of the videos that we're showing, we have students who are working professionals who are older, and um, we've got students that never did formal education or never completed formal education. So if you you know, went to school and you only did two or three years of undergraduate education, but then you have several years of um, good work experience, then you are still eligible under flexible admissions to apply yeah. for our programs. The only exception with that is at the doctorate level. So you do need to have a proper master's degree for that. But at undergraduate and master's, um, you know, take a look at the website. If you don't feel that you're a candidate because of your education, you might be wrong about that. So we, it's part of making education available to everyone. 
anything you'd like to share any any more okay so, so much. Uh, okay okay so we are just end of the live session so dear viewers uh, just quick review about royal lords university it's a public university definitely it's a medium sized university not so big here you will get the small class size like 25 to 30 per class which is very convenient for you comfortable for you to uh, to understand the classes because uh, mostly in canada in the in the bigger universities they are having like uh, students in a classroom like more than 100 200 300 something like that so here you will get the close relationship with the professor you can understand the things properly and of course the location location is very important uh, for you about the royalers because it's, it's in the city of victoria it's the capital of british columbia and the uh, weather is wonderful as uh, Soeta and Darsha told, uh, actually the winter is not, actually you won't feel that kind of cold over there because uh, mostly they have the uh, sunlight is more over there and the summer is more. So you won't feel that kind of cold uh, there. So it's very comfortable for our Asian people. And of course the fees structure, if I talk about the fees structure of Royal Roads, it's very affordable, uh, like only 20,000 uh, per year, which is very very affordable and of course they have very fantastic scholarship options up to 10,000 Canadian dollar and I would say they also have internship opportunities uh, it could be paid or unpaid depends on your uh, your performance and also they have transfer options if you are completing two years or three years degree in, uh, from Bangladesh of course you can transfer your credits easily to Royal Doors University uh, for some starting programs and the master's program wow they have very good programs uh, especially core programs they have all our unique programs like masters in global management because most of the universities you will see that master in management mba so many things you will see but in uh, royal doors they're offering masters in global management which is you will study one and a half hour and you'll get three years work, work, work permit which is a very fantastic option and you need to study only 12 months six months is your internship and they have inter intercultural and um, international communication and also they have masters in tourism and hospitality which is a very famous subject in royal Doors university those who are looking for uh, their career in hospitality industry or hotel industry or tourism so they can look for it and of course they are already opened up another program which is global le leadership uh, if you want to be a global leader definitely you can choose that subject and uh, they are offering very affordable fees only 32,000 to 35 uh, it's near about per year 17,000 uh, Canadian dollar, which is as per the city, Victoria. I don't think it's a very remote area. It's the capital of Victoria. So, uh, so in here, okay. So, uh, so Tasha, I forgot to uh, say one thing to discuss one thing about the accommodation cost and what kind of accommodation options you have in Royal Roads and what are what is the average living expenses in Victoria. Uh, so on campus, we only have short-term accommodation, which we reserve um, for our blended programs only. So anybody that would be coming to study face-to-face uh, -face in our on-campus program, they typically would rent an apartment with some roommates uh, anywhere in the city. Uh, but we also have homestay as well, which sometimes is a nice way um, to just, you know, first stay for three months or so in a homestay and then go into an apartment. And there's lots of options. Almost every home in Victoria has a separate living unit that the homeowner will rent out to help make their mortgage payments. So there's lots of apartments in nice places. Okay, so and the average, it, average cost? Um, I'd say like for cost of living on average for about a month, maybe like 1500 Canadian dollars will cover rent and food and um, you, you know some other necessities, personal items. It depends on your spending habits though. Okay, okay. So how, how is the opportunities in uh, Victoria? I mean, they can do jobs in on campus or off campus? Yeah, so jobs. students can work um, for an uh, undefined number of hours if they have an on campus job. And we do have some on campus jobs available at Royal Roads in the rec center and the cafeteria, things like that. Um, and then they can work off campus part time, so up to 20 hours per week. Um, and, you know, there's you don't want to have any job that is going to take away from your study. So there's lots of jobs in retail and restaurants, uh, hospitality sector, different things like that. Okay, so thank, thank you so much for our last explanation about accommodation and uh, living expenses. So the, the way I have uh, briefed right now, summary. So because Shweta trained me, that's why I could have explained uh, in such a way. So Tasha, did you like my explanation? All are okay? I mean, whatever yes. I have. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, 
very very good thank you sweta for well trained and you are uh, better than me said <laughs> <laughs> okay no problem i am trying to be master for canada anyway uh, so tasha uh, thank you so much for your wonderful time sweta as well for a wonderful time you. we already have uh, crossed one hour time and it was wonderful uh, session with you to both of you and definitely we'll try to do some more uh, sessions something like that we can do some webinars some uh, you know that uh, some virtual session some open day we will try to do with royal roads university and definitely any last few things any last word uh, swetha would like to share to viewers before leaving uh, i would i would say um, that uh, we are all going through a tough time and um, and i believe that uh, during the tough time you make the best decisions right uh um, so you utilize, utilize this time think about your career opportunities uh think how how well you can use this timing and um and what the future holds for you uh make the right choice make the right decisions and if you think that royal roads is uh, is um, can be a part of your plan um pick up the right course we are here to help you all um said is there uh, you know locally available to support you to guide you to help you uh, process your applications so do not hesitate get in touch with us and uh, we'll do our best to to support you with, with your plans tasha any motivational thing you would like to share anything you like to share uh, finally to our viewers well i'll just add to what shweta has said that um you know this is a really um poignant time in history and don't put your education plan on hold and don't put your dream on hold because of yeah. covid and because we can't travel right now um as i said before we are leaders in online education and so please you know feel very comfortable in starting your program in the online format um i studied for 2 years online and i can tell you that it's is equals if not better than face to face uh, uh education and you feel very connected to the rest of your uh teammates and the rest of the students Um uh, so don't let that stop you because as I uh underlined before as well it will contribute to your postgraduate work permit for when it is safe to come to Canada. And I also just want to say as well that uh, there were some questions about people wanting to come to Canada with family and that is something that is accommodated for within our immigration pathways. Exactly, exactly. And finally, I'd like to say all our viewers that actually Swetha and Tasha, we are getting some inquiries from student that they are saying that I would like to visit your office and after talking face to face, then we'll start application. Then I told him that actually it's it's not required. I we don't put you. We don't want to put you in trouble uh, being a patient of coronavirus when you are coming to our office. So it's better you can give us send all documents uh, electronic. I mean uh, through email and everything is online, so we can process that. But but it's not required to see face to face. If we see also virtually, you you need to uh, solve your purpose. That's the main goal. So that's how actually we need to be familiar virtually with all the matters nowadays because it's it's we cannot do anything. We are very helpless. Uh, the the big big leaders are helpless. They cannot do anything. so we need to be in touch in virtually we need to do everything in virtually up until the corona virus leaves away from us so so i'd like to request all our viewers all our students yeah. don't hesitate to apply because um, if you are applying uh, if you are talking to us virtually the same thing if you are talking to face to face it's not required you can uh, you can send your documents through email we can upload your documents we can apply for you and once you get the offer letter of course it will be emailed to your email address directly and you can pay your money to the university directly so there is no complications uh, this is very comfortable way very easier way you can follow that and tasha and sweta is there to help you out if you have any any problem you can uh, reach them as well through prominent so right and uh, uh, and said in case yeah in case there is a need right in case there is a group of students who really want to talk to us one on one uh, so between you and me we can we can have another session with those students Exactly. Um, so we can, we have, can, yeah, we can, we can have, yeah, we can have a Zoom like, session uh, or a Skype like session, whatever. Exactly, yeah. Yes, exactly. yes, and Definitely. we would be we would be happy to answer their queries one on one. Thank you so much, Tasha. I think uh, you had visited last time in two thousand nineteen or eighteen. No, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, just last 19. year. So, so that was the first trip in Dhaka, or you had uh, you had been before here also? That, that, that was, was the first, first time. The oh, first time. So how yeah. how did you enjoy? How did you enjoy? Oh, I loved uh, 
I love, love the shopping. Really? Shopping, wow. <laughs> I bought lots of clothes. Shopping, <laughs> shopping for what? I mean, uh, very affordable price? For clothes, yeah. Very, af well, affordable, but like really interesting, um, really interesting things as well. I bought one of my favorite jackets in Bangladesh. Wow. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Shweta was with me. Sporting, yes, uh, we are yeah. exporting the products to, to big, big countries like Canada, Australia, UK, USA. Exactly. So we are the exporter of the garments. So definitely uh, you will get the garments items here, very affordable prices. So, I mean, would you love to come to uh, Dhaka again and again? I mean, if the coronavirus went away. Oh. <laughs> as soon as I'm allowed to get on a plane, you can't stop me. I, I love traveling all over the world. <laughs> That's great. So thank you so much once again for your wonderful time and we'll be in touch definitely. So uh, now we'd like to uh, you know that leave the live session definitely and before that I would like to tell all our, all our viewers uh, please uh, try to watch this live video to know more about the details of Royal Rose University. It was a completely one hour live session uh, with all the information of Royal Rose University. It will be also in our YouTube channel as well. So whenever you want you can uh, watch uh, from our YouTube channel as well. So. Till then, take care and stay safe, stay in home, and good night and happy and advance Eid Mubarak. Thank you so much, Tasha and Sweta. Please be here. Don't leave the studio. I'll be connecting back to you. Sure. Eid Mubarak to everyone. Thank you. Stay safe.